Hello YouTube, this is Pamateriales with my second video in English. I was moved to make this video because I had this problem with Audacity recently that I kept on clicking here at the icon and nothing happened. Uh, so I uh, googled for a solution but nothing very useful came out of it. So I went to the web page. No, I know what you're thinking. You're supposed to be going to the original web page but uh, well, you know, shit happens. Uh, so I went to the to the web page and it was kind of I it wasn't easy uh, to find this solution, but I kind of changed it a little bit uh, to fit my needs. No, you know my needs are uh, always make things simple. You know I'm a teacher and stuff, so I have to uh, go ahead and looking for look for uh, things that uh, people understands and. Uh, which are really easy solutions for us. Well, okay, enough talking. So what I'm, what I was supposed to be looking for, was for a file called Audacity, the CT dot CFG, which I couldn't find. Because if you go ahead and go to Control Panel, oh sh crap, sorry about that. To your computer and then to programs and then you go to audacity you're not going to be able to find this uh, title here you're not going to be able to find it so I thought it was a hidden file but I was not going to be able to find it what you're be the file you're going to be looking for is under user and then the name of the user whatever it is you're gonna have to be looking for a file, a folder, which is called App Data. As you can see, you can't find it here. Application data, that's not that's not that's not it. So I have to uh, you know show old hidden folders. So for that you go ahead and go to control panel, appearance, and then go ahead here under options under this folder in options I'm sorry about this this uh, operating systems in Spanish so please bear with me for the second option here go ahead and click view and, uh, and then you go ahead and click here check which is gonna say more or less uh, show hidden folders files and hidden drives or something and then go ahead and apply and then OK or accept and we're gonna have to close this because you're, you're not gonna need it anymore then you go to, to your computer to user and then to the name of a user and then you can you, you as you can see this is a folder that appears ape app data you double click Go to Ramen and then go to Audacity. What you're going to be looking for is the name audacity.cfg, the file, which is going to look like this, uh, you know, like a blank white sheet of paper. In my case, that's not going to be looking. It's not going to be looking like this. It's going to be looking like this because I opened it up uh, with the notepad. And you can see, as you can see here, you can see all the codes and all the lines. As you can see. But first, firstly, you're going to have to be looking for it and, you know, open it from, with a program from a list. And then you go to Notepad and uncheck, and uncheck this. I'll show you. Attributes. Uh, reading only and hidden you're gonna be unchecking them so you go ahead and uncheck them and just open it up and there you go you're supposed to be bringing audacity back to life but uh, in the page in the in the web page it says we're gonna be we're gonna be supposed to be uh, erasing all lines that start with this actually there are two lines the first one is gonna be looking like this mp3 and with this funny little things around and this one mp3 lip path and equals so all the line 
all the line you're supposed to be deleting it and the line that follows uh, this mp3 stuff you're gonna have to uh, delete it too and then save oh, crap and then save it and audacity was supposed to come back to life so um, after you do that I strongly recommend to go ahead and un undo all the procedure I just did. You know, go ahead and go back to to control panel, appearance, to the second option, and then do not show hidden and files, folders, and stuff because that's uh, a pretty good way that Windows has that. Uh, avoid uh, you messing up your computer so you go ahead and undo all all this stuff and there you go you're supposed to have audacity back sorry about that uh, the sound went out uh, for just a moment but this is it that's it you got audacity back no problems so thanks for watching uh bye bye peace